Virgin Money has won the bid to buy Northern Rock. It's paying £747 million for the bank the UK government had to nationalise during the financial crisis. Virgin Money CEO Jane Ann Guardia joins us on the phone now. Thanks very much indeed for speaking to us. So can you start by talking to me a little bit about your immediate plans for the bank? Well, we're very pleased that uh, we've got to this stage with the bank. Um, completion doesn't happen until the end of the year. And at that point, we would... Um, start to rebrand the bank Virgin Money and over the course of next year bring together the two businesses so that we offer customers a full range of banking products with great service from, from Virgin Money. And the bank will have in total 4 million customers, 3 million that have uh, come to us online directly to Virgin Money and a million Northern Rock customers. Uh, and we're really looking forward to bringing those two parties together and creating a better bank for the future. All right, so then t tell me a little bit about the timing of this sale. Why now? Well, um, we've been working on this particular sale certainly since uh, the early summer. Of course, we've been interested in uh, looking at Northern Rock for a number of years. Um, but this isn't a, um, sort of a, a quick thing by any means. This is a, something that we see as the platform for the growth of Virgin in banking over many years to come. Uh, you know, it's certainly our intention that this is a bank that will be here in 150 years' time. So it's the opportunity that came at the time that it did. Um, it was right for us to get involved. We think we've made a great offer for uh, everybody that's involved. The people in the North East who have been so loyal to Northern Rock, um, the customers of Northern Rock, who we value hugely, think that, um, th that it's a great deal for the British taxpayer. Um, and it's really good to get more competition in banking. Uh, well, the Chancellor George Osborne did say years ago that, that bids for Northern Rock at the time didn't offer value. Has he, has he lowered his expectations or did you offer more? Well, as I understand it, listening to the Chancellor this morning, um, there's been a full analysis by external parties as to the right way to go, uh, and the offer that we made um, represented the best offer for taxpayers. We tried to make uh, our offer as um, positive as we possibly could, uh, and of course there's lots of different factors to t take into account. How much money can we uh, pay, and how much capital can we keep in the business to make sure that it is absolutely sound and stable for the future and we've been able to do both of those things. So what then do you like about the Northern Rock franchise? What are you going to improve? Well, we, as I say, we think that um, the customers and uh, people at Northern Rock have been uh, fabulous thus far and we're delighted to be part of that, um, that opportunity and, and that commitment and that success. Uh, Northern Rock has 75 branches across the country, certainly not just in the northeast. Um, and for us, the opportunity to unite the branches of Northern Rock with the online capability of Virgin, the products of Northern Rock, mortgages and savings and current accounts, um, with the credit cards and insurance and investment products that Virgin brings, uh, 3 million customers from Virgin, a million customers from Northern Rock. When you add all of that together, you get a big new competitor on the high street with a full range of products that can be uh, distributed as customers want. And mm. what we aim to bring very much is the sort of um, customer service that Virgin's tried and generally succeeded to bring to all sorts of different industries over the last 40 years. D despite the benefits that you describe, the fact is that Northern Rock did actually get themselves into funding and liquidity difficulties, couldn't they? So how concerned are you about taking on a level of risk? How concerned are you about liability? And beyond that, how concerned are you about there being some sort of damage done potentially to the Virgin brand? Well, we wouldn't be uh, going into this transaction at all if we were concerned about any of those things. We are sensibly managing all of those points. Um, the issues of Northern Rock in the past are absolutely in the past and have been resolved fully, credibly and um, completely by the government during the period of their ownership. So the Northern Rock of today is a very clean, stable, well-capitalised and liquid bank um, and it will continue to be so under Virgin's ownership and indeed grow in terms of stability and, and confidence going uh, forward. And for you, these branches are a way of really boosting your visibility on the high street, is that the idea? Um, well, the idea is to be able to offer a place where people can come and see us and meet us on the high street. We think that um, retail banking has become very impersonal and, you know, from my own point of view, I don't like being treated as a transaction, I like being treated as an individual and 
We think that uh, individuals want to be able to have the convenience of dealing with their banks online, but occasionally the opportunity to go and look someone in the eye and talk about their financial issues. And so for us, um, the l number of branches we've got, 75 rather than hundreds, gives our customers the opportunity to do just that. Uh, you say that the taxpayer gets a great deal, but the fact is the government doesn't get back the money that they put into it. So actually, you might argue this is a pretty poor deal for the taxpayer, uh, and it may indeed result in, well, some degree of public frustration. Well, I hope not. We've paid um, a price that amounts to around a billion pounds for this business. Um, the, if you look at the financial accounts of the business back in June, the book value, the, the worth of the bank at that point was $1.1 billion. Um, so in terms of actual cash, we think that that's a, a very good return for the government, at, particularly in these days when uh, other banks are trading at, at much lower multiples on their, on their net asset value. So we think that's a very good price to pay. And of course, on top of that, um, we also think it's very good for the North East. We're making a commitment that there'll be no further redundancies announced in the North East. Um, and uh, we're making a commitment to the Northern Rock Foundation to be able to work with them over the next couple of years to together um, build a, an even greater charitable capability from the combined business. So there are a number of areas where we think that this is good for the taxpayer. Cash is one of them and price is one of them. Mm. Um, but there are other good things too. I mean, just a quick one. Under the terms of the deal, the government's going to receive £774 million, aren't they? That's $1.2 billion in cash on the closing of the sale. Uh, and that will rise to as much as a billion pounds in total in the future. Exactly how is that going to work? Well, um, we looked at our offer based on the financial results of the Northern Rock business at the end of September. Um, so between the end of September and the end of December, um, there will be other numbers to, to look at, and we believe that that, will, uh, that could crystallise as much as an additional £50 million pounds worth of uh, benefit for the government at that point. Um, we have also um, le uh, taken out or committed um, a capital note of £150 million pounds, uh, that's uh, in the business, so another 150 on top of that. And then if the business, the Virgin Money combined business, floats within the next two to five years, um, then there's an additional payment for the government, assuming that that is a profitable float. Uh, and that could be 80 to, to 50 to 80 million pounds, depending on the the timing of that flotation. So that gives the, the government and the taxpayer the opportunity to get back a number of quite in excess of a billion pounds.